In today's show, we have a story about Griff and Stewie signing, a stand-up with Allie, and another fantastic guest the teacher segment. <laughs> Good afternoon, Bikes. My name is Savannah. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SPTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Juniors, if you are interested in the internship program, applications are now being accepted. Also, if you have received a scholarship, please stop by the counselor's office and let Ms. Conley know. And seniors, make sure to see Ms. Conley too about the graduation verifications. Thank you for everyone who came out to the Battle of the Bands. In total, everyone raised $2,000 for the Thirst Project. Kiss the Pig ends the 28th. The teachers who raise the most money will be saved from kissing the pig, so make sure to put money in the jars on their desks. Ali went to talk to Mr. Alexander about enrollment. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex to talk about enrollment. So what do students need to do? Well, enrollment windows were open in PowerSchool, so to enroll you have to actively log into PowerSchool. Over on the left hand side is class registration, then we'll bring up your enrollment screen so you can go through the choices that you have. It opened Tuesday. It will be open till next Thursday, the 27th, so you have that time period to get your choices in. If you're confused, not sure what you need, you can always come down and see your counselor. We're here to help you. Um, but you did get your transcript and your um, graduation progress. And if you've misplaced that, your graduation progress is also on PowerSchool, right where underneath uh, class registration. You can look at that, see what you have to make up, if there's something you have to make up, or what classes you need to take. Um, your enrollment form, it was a good starting place. You know, we gave you a worksheet on the back. It's better to kind of write out what you want before you go to the computer and just try to put it in just from memory. So that's the best way to do it is get that enrollment form circle the classes you want, go to the back, fill out what your semester is going to look like, not that it's going to be guaranteed that, and then also you know, make good choices when, you're, when you are picking alternates because I build the master schedule based on what you put in. So if you just are putting stuff in but you don't really want it, we might have a class that looks like there's 20 on it but really only five want it and that we really shouldn't have that class if there's only five people. Here's the other thing is you cannot take more than two physical education classes in a semester. One of them has to be a workout class. So you can take weights and team sports or weights and lifetime sports. You can't take team and lifetime sports. Don't put 100 PE classes on your enrollment because you will not get them. So pick other classes that could benefit you. Okay? Awesome. Make sure to enroll before that window closes. Now back to your anchors. Students, make sure to get that done. Anyone who has not updated their operating system, the tech department will collect your laptop on March 5th and update it over spring break. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Simino in C4. See, at FFA is hosting a hat day February 24th. To join, you need to bring $3 or three cans. All proceeds will go to harvesters. Before we head over to Savannah to see what the theme of the basketball game is tonight, here's a quick commercial break. When riding the bus, make sure to do the following. Stay seated and follow rules and procedures. <laughs> Always report bullying. Pick up trash. Hey, hey, hey. Use indoor voices. Respect your peers. Have a nice day. You have a great day. Be a Viking, respect the bus, seaman strong. Tonight's theme for the basketball game at Emporia is Hawaiian. Skyler Price will sign a letter of intent to play soccer at Ottawa University today during seminar. On Monday, Tegan Loy and Chase Morstoff were both...
will both sign a letter of intent to run track at the University of St. Mary's. Congratulations, Skyler, Tegan, and Chase. Griffin Stewie signed a letter of intent to play baseball at Cloud County. Mason and Gage went and caught up. Griffin Stewie signed a letter of intent to play baseball at Cloud County. Griffin is excited to play baseball with his cousin Jared at Cloud County. So my cousin's up there right now and he, I've heard nothing but good things from him and it's close enough so all my family can go. Griffin played with his cousin Jared for three years at Seaman High School and will be joining him at Cloud County. They were also state champions in 2018 and 2019. His favorite memory would be uh, winning state last year and just all the excitement that went around with that. Uh, you know, we've, we expect these guys to uh, to be unselfish and, and to give of themselves you know, for the betterment of the team. And and traditionally, when that happens, which is you know quite often, um, you know we've we've been able to have a lot of success. And I think that's a a big staple and a big reason why. His teammates had some encouraging words to send him off to Cloud County. Griffin is a phenomenal man. He deserves it. I wish him good luck on his new best of luck. Yeah. Cloud County, baby. Congratulations, Griffin. If you want to play softball this spring, there will be a meeting February 26th in room 902 at 6.30 a.m. Also, there will be a baseball meeting February 24th at 3.15 in the Commons. Please make sure your physicals are turned in into the office before spring tryouts start. Now let's head over to Zoe with weather. I'm so bad. Why did I do that? Good afternoon, Vikings. For the next couple of days, we will be remaining dry, but by Sunday, we are expecting a lot of rain. More on that in a minute. Today is going to be continuing to warm up as we get later into this afternoon, which is perfect for a Friday night. By Saturday, we are expecting a little bit of a warm up, and I highly recommend going outside and enjoying it while it lasts because on Sunday it is going to be raining a lot. And this rain will continue Sunday night into Monday afternoon. Now back to your anchors. Today we have another guest to teacher segment. I heard there's some special guests. Really? Let's go check it out. What's up, bikes? Me and Madison are back again with a new segment. Let's see how they reacted. What's? It's a girl. Yeah. It's a girl. Um. This is such a weird, like, <laughs> picture. <gasps> it's our home dog, dude. Miss Haas? Miss Haas. That's her? <laughs> Less Tinsley. Is that Tinsley? That's Tinsley. That's Tinsley. That's Tinsley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> That's Moot. That's a golden arm. That's Miss Kemp. Is that Chromie? Mustache um, man. Um, is that Mr. Hebert? No, that's Mr. Pierce. No, it's not. That's too gray. Mr. Pierce isn't that old yet. Um, I mean, not that this person is old. They look fabulous. Oh, just is like that Mr. a little DeLeonardo? salt and pepper. No, he his beard is bushier. He teaches. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 uh, Riley. Yeah. I knew I knew that beard. Ooh. Uh, that's um, Mrs. Zermley. Yeah. I say Mrs. Ermley too. It's you can Mrs. definitely Zermley. tell by the arch of the eyebrows. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned. That was pretty good. I can't wait till next week. <laughs> yes, it was. That's all we have for you, Vikes. Have a good weekend. See you on Monday.